Thank you, John. This breaking news alert for you now is on the west side where a driver is dead tonight after his SUV was hit by an Amtrak train. That crash happened around 7 o'clock at a railroad crossing at Roosevelt Boulevard and Timaquana Road. Channel 4's Nicole Snyder. She is on the scene now with the latest information. Nicole? Joy, a much different scene than what we saw about an hour ago. Most of this scene is pretty much cleared up. Right now, they're still trying to get the bits and pieces left over from that car where this crash happened. And you can see behind me that uh, Chevy Tahoe, where the driver was in there, uh, who died from his injuries. They're getting ready to tow that away. So right now, um, just getting those last bits and pieces up, um, investigating this crash. As we were standing here in the last 45 minutes, two trains did go by, so it looks like all those tracks are clear, and that train that originally collided with that Tahoe is on its way to Virginia. We do have some video from when that crash happened earlier uh, with that car extremely mangled. The Amtrak auto train was carrying 157 passengers. It was traveling from Sanford to Lorton, Virginia. Amtrak says no one on the train was injured in the crash. And I did talk to one witness who says he saw this whole crash happen and he went over to help that driver get out of the car. Um, I've never seen a train stop that fast, you know, because I've come around the corner. I'm, I'm expecting to see the train still pulling away from me. The train's dead stopped. I'm going to make sure this person's okay. I was trying to see if I got a response, yelling or any noise or trying to open the door. Couldn't get in the vehicle. And FHP is still investigating this accident, but this area is all clear. Um, no lanes are blocked right now, so you should have a clear driving area through this area tonight. I'm live on the west side, Nicole Snyder, Channel 4, The Local Station.